What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, bro? Ain't too much. I see your camera was fit. Yeah, I don't even know how because I literally had it down still. <laughs> I literally had it down still. Well, uh, Didi, Dion, she, get? she getting all requests. Dion, it's easier that way. Yeah. Remember when we first started, she used to just had a little uh, emoji join up. I, I expect her to still have it. Hold up. What? She ain't got the emoji up? Don't worry. It's about to go up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she ain't got the emoji up. Hold on. Hold on. T. What's up? Do you got your shot glass? It's not a shot glass, but it's on a glass with a shot, shot in shot it. shot glass in Okay. But it's a shot glass with a shot in it. <laughs> What you got, C? What you drink? It's, it's some brown. Oh, I'm drinking um, homemade Patron margaritas. I had tacos. Yeah. We got oh. I mean, Tuesday. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> because here's the thing: on Tuesday, I got food. Everybody got but and I just felt like tacos today, so I was like, oh. I can make some pico to die so, and get the yeah, see. Yeah, I if I lose the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all know what it is. It's the homeboys conversation. We got your usual people up here, a couple of uh, uh returning guests, Miss Diana. Y'all know her, her last little she always keep that little emoji up there. What's going on with you, D? I'm good. I'm good. Oh. You know, I was a little delayed. Like, how oh, you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, this this always, this is your usual, so we're we not surprised at that. Yeah. Of course, we got ganged up T. What's, yeah, what's, what's up? going on? Nah. Okay, of course, we got a, a bunch of good questions for y'all, but we also got the new Dating 101 card game called Bottoms Up. It's a nice drinking game. We actually just unveiled these. These are, they, they, they out there. They're ready for y'all now on Dating 101 card game page. We're actually going to play some tonight. I'm actually going to play one at the beginning and one at the end just, just to show y'all what it is. I'm actually play one. And after the questions, I'm going to play another. I haven't even opened up the deck. Don't be wild, man. Just man. yet. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah. Yes. Are you playing the card game with us real quick? Of course. I told you I have Patron right here. Okay. Now, this is called Dating 101 Bottles Up. The name of the game is that, you know, you flip a car, and then we have different scenario situations that you have to pick from. Now, they range in all types of things from dares to whatnot. And what you're going to do is you're going to ask the question. The person will have to pick what you would choose. If that person picks wrong, that person has to take a shot. Now, you can do everything you want. You can use water. You can use alcohol. You can, you can even use some fun, you know, activities between you and your mate. You know, you and your friends do it. You can actually do workout, push-ups, squats, however you want to do it. You can do whatever. But I'm going to start off with me first. T, pick a number from 1 through 10, and I'm going to count out some cards. 7. Mm. Okay. 1, 2, 3, no, 4, okay. 5, 6, 7. I don't know why, but I kind of knew that also. I don't think we could do this one. Well, I actually, I we can't. Throw it to the side. I'm going to say what it is for y'all can know. I'm going to just let it out. Let someone in the room tickle you for 30 Hell seconds. No. If Thank you refuse or laugh, take a shot. Mm -mm. <laughs> I haven't taken a shot. Okay. You took a shot? Okay. Yeah, ain't nobody uh, tickling me. 
Just take one okay. just because. Nails. Let me see. <laughs> nah, shut up. <laughs> okay. I got a lot of these. The first ones are more dead. Okay. What you, what you contemplating? <laughs> no, I got to find, because a lot of these, the first ones were dead questions. I didn't know. Shuffle. That's what I was about to say. Okay. Shuffle. Okay, 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 here. I'm, a, I'm, I'm going with something. The cause was this. D, both of y'all got your shot. See, I got to see D take the shot if y'all wrong. No, I'm going to show you my cut. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I think I'm joking. I have I don't think she right Hold on. Okay. I need to get back from the camera because you think All I'm right. playing. There we go. Which of these three celebrities I will name that you believe that I will swap my life for for 10 days? Michael Jordan. Who are you Tyler asking Perker. me? I'm asking both of y'all. Y'all got to take this shot if y'all wrong. Right Huh? Who going? I'm saying who's gonna guess first? I'll go first. Y'all both go. We, it doesn't matter when y'all guess, but I'm I'm not gonna say it. At the, I ain't wanna say it at the same time. No. It doesn't matter. Not I'm go not go I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna get, tell the answer to right right. Which of these three celebrities would I swap? Would I swap ten days for? Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jordan, or Tyler Perry? Would you switch See, with them? Would I switch for? If I got a chance to be to live their life for ten age, which one of these celebrities do you believe I would swap for? D, you have ten I'm seconds. Tyler Perry. T. Ten seconds. Take, take a shot, T. I definitely was switched with Tyler Perry. No, you wouldn't. This but I didn't want to say Oprah. <laughs> I didn't want to say Oprah. Yeah, Michael Jordan is Take your shit. Like, like Michael Jordan don't have that's... no play. Maybe but back to the day, that's a little bit like, different. I, I, back I ain't thinking about Tyler Perry. You don't want to be with no, 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 but but this nigga get me like he the lit. beat. I'm gonna like, put this on my show. I, but you want to do everything I want? Want me know what made me pick that for you? I was thinking, you know, you like the NBA. You get to own but the team. That that's you know, not then. We're talking you know. about now. You're talking about mm -hmm. back in the day, Michael. Not, we talking about so now. He's yeah. only part of the team now. Yeah, no, I I would I would take Tyler Perry over him. Okay, let's get on with the show. Y'all know what it is. Okay, this week uh, uh we're gonna actually do another one a little later on in the show. And I'm actually I'm I'm gonna allow y'all two to pick one, and then I will have the I will be on the on the chopping block. Okay, um, um, this uh, a few weeks ago it was the Oscars, and uh, Sierra came dressed in what uh, a sheer dress, with basically just a bra and some underwears on. Of course, people were livid. People was talking about it. People, of course, they've been calling. Russell Wilson a clown, calling him corny, calling him all types of stuff. My question to the panel is this. I'm going to start with you, D. Do you believe Sierra get a bad rap and get judged unfairly, more unfairly, unfairly than people like Beyonce? Yes. Deonna? Yeah. And why? Because I think when they look at Sierra, they think, oh, this is a home, a wholesome young lady. She's changed her life. She's um, into church. She has the perfect husband. They're so godly. They, she, they look at her as perfection when it comes to um, just her lifestyle. Like she does no wrong. Where they look at Beyonce they they really don't know too much about Beyonce because she doesn't allow them in her life but they also know she lives a little bit on the wild side from the rumors and you know all that so it's more expected but with Sierra it's like oh you have that good husband you can't be possibly doing this you know mm -hmm. let me ask you this is it a part two to this question 
No. It was just that. Okay, well, I'm gonna say at the. But I, I think the question. I think I don't see nothing wrong with what she did. Me personally. Okay. Um, I think she get uh, a bad rap, but I feel like she did that to herself because when she got with him, she was all, "I prayed for this man," and this, then the third. She tried to, she tried to uh, do a whole three sixty. You know what I'm saying? To get away from the future type lifestyle and everything like that. So she brought that on herself. Now, secondly, I told y'all that she was starting to switch it up when I, I seen that a minute ago, remember? And I wrote in the group chat, I was like, she got like getting tired of this, getting tired of, of Russell. No, like, no. <laughs> So Y'all getting tired of that, uh, that bland lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's too bland for her. It it's ain't, not bland. Listen, I think before, Russell is before just before she crazy. Got with him, listen, before she got with him, she would wear stuff like that. She's, she was doing stuff like that on the red carpet. You got to remember, she a brand. She's, you know she's marketing for herself. He enjoys it. She not just, she not just Russell Wilson's wife. She's Sierra, the artist. So she got to brand you know, herself. You don't think he knew she that before money. he married her? You don't think he experienced that every day she... You can't take that out of her. What what she is and who she is, you can't. That's what I'm saying. But so she going back. Thing. People who she originally is. People can be versatile. She going, back to, she going that for that long. Not if it's not really you. All that you can be sitting down different. With, like I can be a church girl hurt. today and then tomorrow, I can be me. Nah, <laughs> it don't work but, like that. No, but you can be both. Why you can can't act you be both? Like it. You can act like it, but you can't be it. You can why act like can't it. You? But how long can the act last? But why can't the you be both? So you so what you're telling me is that somebody who is into church can't lust and can't want to wear, you know, freaky clothes. Because I can go to church and believe in certain things. But I don't have to believe, oh, I got to wear a hole covered up. You got me mistaken. Because I didn't say she couldn't do that. I said the, I didn't have a time. problem with her doing it. She's because she's, brand, she's, brand, she's a brand. She's is what I'm saying. Child. She can do so, both. People, she not getting what I'm saying. People got a problem with her wearing that. I don't. And I'm explaining the reason why I don't have a problem with her wearing that. I'm actually defending her. Oh, okay. You making this yeah. Well, 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 even though, no, I, I hear both of y'all, what y'all say, do you feel like you, you, you defend her, you did defend her, but you also said she brought it on herself. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. And let me say this. I agree. Um, I agree that, you know, she did bring it on herself and I feel like she can do it in a murder. One, let me say this. If her husband like it, cool, not a problem. Do I feel like it sent a bad message? Yes, I do. Because I do remember the whole it and thou. I think we keep thinking we can uh, 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 we can actually be, uh, uh, be Christians and be worldly too. You can. You can. And I think that's my problem. You, you can. can. You can. That's actually, hold up, hold up. That's a contradiction of what the Bible says. The, the things that you're saying, hold up, let me say this. The things that you're saying, the Bible says opposite. The Bible says you so, can't love me in the world, the so you can't do people both. have with Christians, they believe that they are not human. You know, they are not still worldly. They're not still of the world. That's not true. You can worship God and believe certain things, but you, you are not fully in your you know where you're perfect and and guess what god knows that none of us are perfect and will never be perfect nobody's on up nobody's disputing whether she's perfect or not but, but it's the same drink. thing it's, it's a drink christians party see that's the thing when people go to church they be like oh they're hypocrites no they're not they're just like you and i they just they are they are learning, well, they are worshiping God. That's all. Well, but let me ask you this, Diami. If you as a Christian, let's call you a Christian. I don't I'm know what you Christian. believe, but you as a Christian, a Christian. Okay, yeah. that's what they say. But if you as a Christian, <laughs> listen, listen, if you as a Christian say, Well, Reggie, you lie all the time, that's not godly. Like, would you do we do we sit there 
and minimize God the, 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 hold up, hold up. do we sit there and minimize the sin that people do based on what we think is okay or not okay? Because that's really what you're saying. No. You're basically saying you can no, minimize, are, you can you can criticize depending on how deeper the sin, how much the sin did, affects me or criticize? other people. When did she ever criticize anyone else? When she talked about what the t what type of women uh, uh people should be and what type of stuff they should wear, she do it often. When they when they came out what? with their old the I prayer, yeah, when they when she came out with all that the type of prayer that she prayed for Russell Wilson and how she felt like she needed to be a virtual woman or what's that all these stuff, these descriptions on what the Bible quotes and all that type of stuff, and then you backtrack and wear a half naked dress no. to the Oscars oh. in front of everybody. But that's a double. That's an oxymoron. That's a contradiction. That women should not wear these type of clothes. When did she ever it say doesn't, that? Hold up. It doesn't matter whether she said it or not. Yes, if you does. criticize, hold up, hold up. No, no. Let me say this. If you criticize one thing and then do something, if you criticize anything about what other people do and then do something contrary, that's an oxymoron. And so that's how, being a hypocrite. I mean, what did she if you criticize, criticize me, if you, she been, like I said, she was doing it with her and Russell Wilson was up there talking about how they prayed for each other. You can pray. For a man and still want to wear short dress. No, no, no. I was saying, I was saying when they were talking about their prayer, the prayer that they wanted to get and do, and blah blah blah. That she talked about the type of woman that she wanted to be and all that. And they talked about how what type of people they were trying to get away from, trying to attract from, and this, that, and the third. You can't talk bad about anybody and then I'm never try to do something. I'm talking bad about anybody, so I guess that's. All right, you gonna make me pull up you the clips and send it to you. you what they said in the comments? I just never heard her do it. I never heard her. Do okay. It. But I will say this, and I, I want to. Mm -hmm. We when we get onto another sub topic, I want to leave okay. the saying this: people uh -huh. who are so-called Christians into church, yeah. they are not yeah. perfect. They are still working on themselves. They may have drug addiction. They may have sex addiction. They have all types of issues just like anyone else. They are more than likely probably working on that, but that does not make them less of a Christian is what I'm saying. Okay. You're right. And, and your question, I'm going to respectfully disagree. But go I ahead. want to know. <laughs> so everybody who working on themselves in church, because I don't go to church, how long do it take to work? Because y'all been working on y'all since y'all started Forever. church. Because that's what nobody <laughs> here is to judge nobody. Only God can judge all of Hey, look. Every time you say something, I'm working on myself. I'm a work in progress. You ain't making no damn progress. Shit, I wish you hurry up. Move the line. Move the line. <laughs> I ain't shopping now, babe. <laughs> go ahead, T. <laughs> hey, Charlie said, me, I go off of how I feel that day. Rhyme and Reason said, Red's processing face is too funny. Um... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, they just joined. Okay, okay, okay. It's nothing. They just joined it. Okay. Uh, the other left? Know. You didn't you didn't talk to Christian off the show. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't even say nothing. No, nah, no, nah, she might have got bad service. You know she in Southeast. Well, accident. She got mad at you. Or maybe she is you. <laughs> Look at the work in progress thing. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> working on their self. I'm not, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no, she probably, it probably blinked off. You know, hers kept, used to always freeze when she get on there. No, no. Right, let me, I'm going to go on to the next joint until she come back. Okay, she got it. Okay. I hate y'all. Yeah, yeah. You, Why you hate her? I know you're in the song of trash. <laughs> no, I accidentally hit a button. Talia told me. Okay, let's. Yeah, of course you're Sally. Um, okay, let me let me move right along. Sally and uh, uh, Cal been friends for some years. Over the time, they end up developing a relationship. They end up uh, 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 in a relationship and end up getting engaged. Before they got engaged, I mean, before they was going to get married, they decided that they wanted to go to a marriage counselor. Cal had a bad scar around his face from an accident he had. When they kind of first got together and started talking about it, Sally used to make jokes about it. He used to call him Joker or something like that because it made him look like he was smiling. For a time, he never really paid attention. It wasn't that really big of a deal. Over time, she kind of made it like her little pet name. 
When they got into therapy and got to talking to therapy, the therapist asked them, like, is it something that your, you know, your fiance, future wife, that you always wanted to get off your chest, that you never did, that, that, that bothers you? He begins to tell her about the scar. The jokes she made are insensitive, and it actually, like, really hurts my feelings. She kind of reacted kind of differently because he didn't, you know, he wasn't expecting it, but she was like, you know, you never said nothing years ago, and why would you just bring it up all of a sudden? You're making me look like the bad guy. And, of course, you know, the whole thing just blew out of proportion, even though they stayed together. So my question to the panel was this. Do you set healthy boundaries with friends, family, and in relationships when you feel like somebody is crossing the line or do you allow it to go on hoping that it would eventually blow over? T? I nips it in the bud immediately. Like, we not even about to play <laughs> that game because if I feel some type of way, I'm going to say it. So, mm -hmm. I nip it in the bud. Okay. No, we not proving nothing. It's all right. T? I mean, uh, D, you already know. <laughs> the craziest is back. <laughs> you know, my mouth um, is going to say how I feel and feel what I, you know, say. I'm going to say it. If I don't like something, mm -hmm. I'm going to let them know. But I do also understand that everyone is not like that. Mm -hmm. So have y'all ever been in a situation where y'all allow a joke to go on too long and then by the time you wanted to say something, you kind of felt like bringing it up and it make you look petty, T? No. I'm going to say something about it. Like, you know how you got people who like to play fight? Mm -hmm. I don't play fight. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to people hitting on me. Mm -hmm. So, motherfucker want to play fight me, I'm like, don't keep hitting me because I'm going to hit you back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stop right now. Because I don't want you to think we're going to go through the relationship and you're going to keep play fighting me and shit, and I like it. I don't like it. Don't keep doing it. So... Okay. Yeah. D. D. Yes, I'm here. I'm listening to you. Have, have you have you ever been in a situation where no. somebody made a joke about you and you okay? No. You I know what? Let me since, since we're on here. I used to call you the craziest for a long it time. Did that use hurt your feelings? Because guess what? I knew okay. I was crazy. So. <laughs> I, I mean, called you that since junior high. So I'm just trying to make sure. I always I, knew I was crazy. So, I mean, people, people <laughs> for the last, so. <laughs> um, I think I've been, I think sometimes, because I, I feel like my sense of humor has always kind of been like a, uh, you know, unorthodox. So it's certain stuff that you might say that I could laugh off a time or two. And then when I circle back around and say, you said it too much, now I might get my feelings and react a whole different way. So you might be like, golly, Razor, can you believe you act like that? Because I let you joke too much mm -hmm. because I thought you would get over it. So I, I, I can say, honestly, I have been in that situation where I let a joke slide a little too long and then I reacted and reacted a little too, what some people might say, sensitive. Like, that. I know you, you let it, you know, because because you, you can get to the point of just, like, brushing stuff off because you're thinking it's just a one-time thing, and then the person pushed their luck. So, like I said, I've been in that position before, but I, I think for all, just, you know, the air it out, you know, people, when it happens the first time, I think you can laugh it off, but explain to the person that, yeah, you know, let's not let's not go back and forth with this. But now that's weird you know, for the most me. part, I'm just, that's weird to that? me because it's different. Like when you don't see the person every day or whatever. But if it's somebody who you're going home to, you don't feel, mm -hmm. you know, it necessary to like if y'all are going to bed to say, hey man, I don't really like when you say this or whatever. That that's weird that they're not they're not discussing how they feel. I feel like that's important. Because let me say this. I got to talk down here. It's kind of like, you know, but let me say this. Because I feel like men, maybe T, you don't go there, but I feel like men, we fear that our peace will get disturbed if we really express our feelings to women. Like if we really say, you know, that bullshit you did the other day didn't really sit right with me. I feel like at the end of the day, we're going to get judged much harsher the y'all like tea. <laughs> I feel like that. I'm gonna say what the hell I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say what I gotta say. Hey, you gonna feel yeah. how you feel. 
We didn't talk about that. <laughs> That'll be another discussion. But I feel like at times we sit there and we, uh, I, let me tell you this. I have, a, I have said something to a woman before about something that she done. Before the night was over, I was apologizing for what I said. Because <laughs> I didn't want, I no longer wanted the argument. I no longer, I wanted peace at that particular point. Like, I no longer wanted this back and forth fight. So I've been in that predicament. So I, so the army to the point, sometimes men, women are, women, the, the statement of, like somebody, I seen recently on the post that the statement of a, 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 a woman will argue from her emotions. Mm -hmm. So she will use that as one of the main key points to say, man, that affect me emotionally. I can't, I can't dictate how you and your emotions go, so I got to figure out, okay, what did I say that was so emotional? Did, I, did the way I said, did what I said, well, you've done it. Like, and by the end of the night, I'm like, you know what? That was my fault. Like, <laughs> I've been there. I'm just saying. Weak, boy, put your pants on. Put your big boy pants on, man. <laughs> I right. want peace. Don't want problems. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Reason said, I'm going to always speak on it. Ayo said, I would have just cooked her every day. I was born for that. Uh, Angela versus mm -hmm. Angie said, I've definitely let jokes slide. Um, what's up, Tokyo? Fred said, stand your ground, Red. Stand my ground? Yeah, yeah. What you about to say, D? actually like men who are vocal women like men who are vocal until it's about a woman taking accountability like it's cool Ooh. that i it's, it's cool when i'm when i'm being emotional for about my, for my, for my, for my situation but she's not going to accept it when it's about her taking accountability if i say hey you done X, Y, Z, blah, 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 this and third. She's going to use it like you're not my... She's going to take defense to it. Depends. When it's about, when it's it's about you it. taking accountability, it's 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 it. Yeah. It, depends. it depends on the woman. It depends on the woman. It's, okay, for most times, when it's about a woman taking accountability, she don't want you to be vocal. She how wants you to be times? vocal if you're blaming yourself. How many times? She doesn't want you to be vocal when you're telling her. No. How many times do I see? Like sometimes you may send me a post, and it may be something like men, you know, saying that women should do this or whatever. How many times do I actually say they're right? Yeah, yeah, I heard, heard you say it plenty of times. And here's the thing, though, D, you say it, but that post is not directly at you <laughs> from your man. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's, 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 right. that's not. That's you, not. You, that that you post, are right. you Oh, we can all hear. <laughs> we can all hear right. or see videos that's not directly at it's us okay. and say, "Yeah, yeah, that dude, Depends. that person Depends. got a point Depends. because it's not directly at church." But I bet if your dude said the same thing while y'all was laying each other in bed, it'd have been a whole he big thing. Me stuff mm -hmm. All the time, and I sit there and be like, "You right, but okay." And yeah, yeah. look at look at the see? See? But the and it, it, it doesn't take away from what I'm. Because he only try to bring up something after I'm already talking about something against him. So okay. at that point, we're both okay. right. Okay. See but he won't saying? acknowledge that. See, you see what I'm saying? Now you got to bring up something about him, so now no, y'all both was, right. No, I mean, you I dead wrong. wrong. Wait, what I, said. I ain't seen you wonder. I best seen what you said. I ain't blind. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You had a silly talk, over there. Yeah. What they what they saying in the comments before we about to get to the next one? Which one of y'all want to pick the next card? Uh, a T or D? I'll pick the card. I'm already trying to join. Who's trying to join? Who's that? Tokyo trying to join. Put Tokyo on. Yeah, I want. We need another woman up here to bash. That's right, cause y'all. No, I'm not bashing women. I'm not bashing women. Hey, hey, get her on. We not bashing. We not doing that. I ain't bashing. I only want to change just to say one thing. I was just going to say, that? like, why do males feel the need to communicate when a female bringing up her issue? Like, I feel like if you have something to say, it's okay to voice your emotion or opinion or whatever the situation is when you feel that way. Don't wait till I feel like I feel and saying something about it. And I'm voicing how I feel for you to speak up on your stuff. Like, 
Don't be cheating. Why are you oh, there when you felt like that? That's all I feel. That's all. Oh, really? Oh, really? Okay. Let, let me say this. The reason why is because, again, y'all do not, y'all are not peaceful people. If I, if I don't, if I bring it up ahead of time, like if I, if just so happens we, what's like, men, we try to have a little more time. We're trying to figure out if, if this battle will, will be worth the war. Like, I, because you're not just, if I just come to you, if men told you I was dating, I come to you and be like, look, hey, can we talk? You remember the other day you went out with your friends and wore that outfit that I told you not to wear? You know, that was the most offensive so stuff knows. you can ever do. What, the, what, was, what was going on? See, 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 it's a little bit different. Oh, oh, it's different. It's different. It's different. No, no, see, no, that, no, that no, is no, different. No, no, oh, Grant. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying like this. It's a little bit different because for starters, if we had that conversation before I go out and I know that you're not joking about something, you're having a problem with something I have on, we in a relationship at I respect that. Like, if I feel a certain way about something, I'm going to want you to respect my end. So that's that's a lot of a lot of my things were my issues and my relationships where I went wrong. I went wrong. At, I could have found, found a better way to express myself. But at the same time, it was like, you said this, so do this. Like, I just feel like a lot of people do, don't, don't know what they asking for when they ask for it. Then when they get it, they do different. So that's where my issues with my issues came in and I take accountability for because I'm not the same person <laughs> that I was then like a lot of stuff that I used to yeah I don't, I don't be having time for so I think I just got to that 40 where you don't care that I don't give an F mm -hmm. yeah so I'm there now but other than that I had my, my times and yeah See? I took accountability for it she was a work in progress beyond me and now she's fixed I've been fixed <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me sound like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all Hello. I wanted to say. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all finish. Hello. Hello. All right. I bet you can hear you. I can hear it, man. Somebody tried to call me and took out my headphones. She left. Oh. Yeah, she left. Yeah. She, she said she, what she had to say. She said, basically, she said she was a work in progress, and now she back. She better. But most, you will find going, that most women. She said she been going to church, and she also said you know she what? get what you saying now. You're right. absolutely yeah. right, and the Lord is her savior. Y'all will <laughs> find that most women are, um, <laughs> most women do take accountability. Like a man can sit here and tell a woman, like you, da 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 da, -da you need to do this, and you always, <laughs> you know, and we'll be like, you okay, you know. That's not taking read. accountability. That is. Read the comments. That is taking accountability. That's the number. The first step is to recognizing that you're wrong. <laughs> we will go say, ahead. Read okay, the comments real right. quick. But the man will sit there and lie. She's going to start out again. That's why I waited. <laughs> go ahead. Hold on, Diani. Go ahead. I take. Uh, Tokyo said I take logic over emotion, but it's going to be a topic. Angela versus Angie said no reds, not at all reds. Tokyo said it definitely depends. Talia said it depends on the woman. Rhyme and Reason said no, nah, I would take accountability. I'd rather a man say how he feel than keep things in. Tell me what's bothering you and I'll acknowledge it. Angela said that's not a woman. A real woman wants her man to communicate. O Street Market said. <laughs> Pass the bucket around next. Did he, uh, I mean, he went to say pass the bucket around reds. Uh, Josh said, talk your talk. Um, <laughs> this must be been without my and everything. Uh, and he said, get the fuck out of here, reds. And Talia said, 100. I guess that's the Tokyo. But Red, you know, yeah. they, all, they all clapping for her and stuff. What are y'all thinking? Y'all, we no, trying you to. You do need to do better at communicating because. That's not a, you cannot be in a healthy relationship holding how you feel in. And I'm just, that's I, just that. I'm, I'm good. Let me say this. I'm good at communicating when I, when I need to. When, when I yeah, feel I like, I, I feel like it needs, but let me say that. Well, let me say this to, if, if, if a man really spoke his truth daily, a lot of you women ain't going to date. I'm gonna just be honest. If a man, if a dude you was name, if he really came in, because the first thing you're gonna do is case, man, you complain all the time. I can never do anything right. No, you can't. No, the mother you can't. If we really, if we really spoke every time you done something that bothered us, we would really get on y'all nerves. 
How do you know? That's that? that's honest. But look, who's well, Johnson? Huh? I don't know. She's talking to me. She's talking to me. <laughs> hey, uh, Diani. I got different names. Okay, I know that. Y'all know. Yeah, that. I thought to say that. Ain't like, okay, so Diani, I'm gonna let mm -hmm. you be the next person to pick the card. Which one do you want? One or two? Oh, I thought you was about to say top or bottom. Thank you, Red, for no, not talking about to say oh. Freak. <laughs> Freak. Number one. You want one or two? You want one? Okay. Yes. If y'all don't know, these are the new Dating 101 card game. These are called bottom up. They got fun scenarios, uh, uh, dare questions, and a bunch of other different uh, uh, things for you to uh, even take a shot. You can do little things, drink water. You can do exercise with it with your partner. Oh, yeah, I might can, like, exchange some fun little treats for each other, you know, notes or whatever. However y'all want to do it. Diani, you got to make the pick. Me and Tiom is up. The card reads is that this. You have to make the choice. You have to mm -hmm. find out which one you want, and, and we're guessing. Mm -hmm. Money can buy you happiness, but if it mm -hmm. brought me a jet, a yacht or a mansion, I will be happy. Which one would you pick? Tell me when you get between, got it. Between a jet, you, a yacht, and a, a jet. Yes. Now tell us when you got the whistle name, and me and Tiam is, Tiam is going to answer. Tell us when you figured out which one you would buy if you if money was not an issue. Don't say it out loud. I'm not. Just tell I'm us when still you got thinking. it. I'm still thinking because okay, go ahead. You ready? Mm-hmm. Tio, which one do you think she'll pick? A Between man. a jet mansion. Okay. Um, I think she'll pick a yacht. Diani. Oh my God. <laughs> Reggie, how you know that? Take because that's the only thing. Take a drink. Because you. It's 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 a home is one thing, cool, not that big of a deal. A um, uh, uh, jet is no, like okay, do you know you travel? But a yacht, something on the water. Let me something on the water. I thought she was. What's your reason? Okay, let me tell you the reason. What's your reason? Because I I literally studied that question. That's why it took me so long. The reason why I would not pick a mansion is because who the fuck cleaning that up? I'm not. I'm gonna have to get a maid. <laughs> I'm going to have to get See? made. And not only Her that, is bad. I Her always is took bad. care of other people, right? Okay. And people live with me. If I have a mansion, don't you think everybody named mother going to be like, oh, can I stay there? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of want something small just for me. And I'm at that age where I ain't taking care of nobody. I got a little, few more years for the little be, you know, out. The yacht, I said yes because I would turn that into a rental. You know, I'm into making money here. Mm -hmm. I would use that as a rental and like have. Because I'm just doing this on this feast day. Yeah, I would probably do. <laughs> I would do. I haven't had the. I haven't had to drink my wine yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. T, you got the last no, one. But, but I'm a I don't want a mansion because then people gonna want to stay with me. And then a yacht. They I know. Can rent that out Niggas like to live in boats. I can uh -huh. rent it out and have parties on it. They do yacht parties now. I will rent have mansion parties. And that's more money where I can buy a mansion. Look, if I want it, one, but I don't I'm want I'm just mad I had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> Twice. <laughs> See, I'm with your whistle. I felt like a yacht would have been better. Okay. Like you got to know the people. But Tiyama, if you buy a mansion and have parties there, you're gonna I have to have somebody come and clean it. it. You're gonna end up spending more money. I had to drink. drink. I don't want to talk about it no more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do one more okay. question, Red, for Tioma. That's Tioma, Tioma question is last. Okay. Tioma ain't got to worry about. Then again, even though when me and Siobhan created these questions, when I originally about thought about it, when okay, when I originally thought about it, I said if the person now there's all these three of us. I didn't want to, you know, do it that way. But I said if the person get it right, that person will have the other person will have the drink. She said we got 101 cards, Reggie. People be drunk before they get through. <laughs> Either the person missing it gonna be drunk or the other person. So if you choose when you buy your deck and you choose that 
The person, if you get it right, the person got to drink, or if the person get it wrong, they got to drink. It's up, totally up to you. But in order for, I feel like, to keep the game going on, you know, the person, if you get it wrong, you have to drink. But again, if you buy the cars, like I said, it's 101. It's some dead questions in there also. So come get your deck. O Street already got all of them. If you go to Dayton 101, if you go to Dayton 101 card game page, we actually got a bundle for $100 so you can get four decks, this or even, what's the name, all, one of the four, all four decks for $100. So it's up to y'all. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So moving right along. Tom Brady, y'all don't know Tom Brady just retired. He was a famous quarterback, uh, retired from Buccaneers. Um, just recently, they spotted him and his wife out, and his wife was out with her, uh, what is, I think, Jitsu instructor? Um, jitsu. jitsu instructor. So she started dating her in Jitsu, in jitsu she scratched it, instructor, jitsu, whatever. Bro. Whatever. <laughs> On the Schwarzenegger, end up having a baby by the name. Um, a couple other celebrities been end up leaving people for background dancers. Uh, then uh, their wife been get or you been they been cheating with like fitness instructors and things of that nature. Personal so trainers. my question, yeah, personal trainers. They been they that's that's been happening. So my question to y'all is this: for things of that nature, do y'all have a problem with y'all partners having? Uh, instructors of the opposite sex when it comes to certain little personal activities. I don't know, even like bodyguards and things of that nature. T, how would you feel? If I'm if I'm rich like them, yeah. She she going to all group stuff. I need y'all you being able to you ain't getting no personal nothing. Y'all gonna take group classes and I'm gonna join the classes and that's our instructor. We doing it together. I wanna learn jujitsu. Fuck that. D, how do you feel about your mate having a uh, personal trainer as you know his trainer as a female. Female as a personal trainer. Um I'm okay with it as long as I know who it is. Like, for instance, because to me, that's, same, that's almost the same as coworkers. Yeah. Like, I just need I to know. I need to know who it is. Like, I, and, and, and then if I feel like you may be attracted or, and, and you, you know when your mate is attracted in any way, especially for guys, because y'all just a dead giveaway. Y'all come home like, Babe, you know such and such did this, like, and then if I hear <laughs> next, they're going to be fired. Listen, Listen. <laughs> I, I, look, I got, I, I'm certified and all that. <laughs> My girl getting <laughs> <laughs> <Listen. laughs> no, not an awesome sex, no, no. My girl is now no. That's why I'm certified. I'll train her myself. Like that. Nah, because nah. Just I be in the gym. In. Listen, I be in the gym and I be seeing people train people. Mm. <laughs> nah, no good. Yeah. I'm good. You know, you're not about to do that. Yeah. Not to my girl. Let me tell you this. I don't care what nobody says because I I feel like intimate moments bring up certain emotional connections mm -hmm. and feelings that you probably wouldn't have had in no other way. When it's a trainer and this person got to be like touchy feely and you know lifting up and up under them and doing all this, uh, uh, she was a karate instructor, so she's doing all the leg lift, yoga mm -hmm. instructor. Mm -hmm. When y'all have personal like time like that with each other, sometimes that draws feelings that you you probably ain't getting from a person like a Tom Brady uh, uh, that that literally. At, you know, at work all the time, he's going out of town, he's weak, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. So you get little intimate moments that, in a lot of cases, that you probably feel like your husband wasn't getting. Well, then you need know. to go home and have that conversation, and if he still doesn't do it, then you, whatever, he deserve, you deserve to be happy. That's all I can say. Yeah. That don't mean I, I agree, <laughs> but... No. <laughs> I say go home and tell that person, hey, I like this, or this yeah. is what you need to do. You and if they don't do it, then you go 
Yeah, you you said then whatever. No, you leave. So that sounds to me like you said. I'm gonna say nice. I'm gonna say nice, and you leave. But no, get in the comments, please, because I need that girl, (laughs) whoever is. I am Red Bird forever on here because she needs to elaborate. (laughs) You said said what? She needs to elaborate. What's she talking about? You said I I am Red Bird. Uh huh. That the person in the comments. Y'all see her comments? Read the comments. They say if they're going to cheat, it might be with the same sex. <laughs> Where did that come from? Where did it come from? Please elaborate <laughs> on that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, maybe she said that they're going to cheat. Which Did she miss, meant to say that they're going to cheat regardless of the sex? Uh, I guess oh. maybe that probably... I don't know. Maybe she need to elaborate on that. I don't know what she was saying with that. But I do... Now, let me say this. <laughs> If they're going to cheat, I, I do understand that some people feel like a person going to cheat regardless. Yeah. It ain't going to be certain intimate moments, this and the third. If they're going to cheat, they're going to cheat. Like, you can't stop a person from cheating. I, I truly believe that. So if a person is not, like, a cheater, that, that is a different thing. You will kind of, like, pull away. If you're not, like, you know, I'm, I'm good. Well, that ain't, that ain't something cheater. I do. Is because there, I, like, I, don't, I don't... I is don't there ever feel like for when cheating is okay? I mean, not okay. Let me rephrase that. Is there ever grounds for when cheating is justified as to why you cheated? Let me say this. No. I don't ever believe that cheating is... Yeah, I was about to say that. I don't ever believe that cheating is ever justified. I can understand in some cases. One of the movies when we started Homeboy's Conversation, one of the movies we done was I Think I Love My Wife by Chris Rock. And every time he tried to have sex with his wife, she always brung up something, kept falling asleep, stuff like that. So me and T, when we discussed this movie, we said it. Like, we don't condone it, but I understand. Okay. It's never it's never a case of whether it's justified to cheat. You basically decide to do what you want to do. You have the option to actually tell your wife you've done and want to move on. Just like a woman. She got the option to tell a dude, look, I'm done. I, I want to go my separate ways. I'm unhappy. So so it's never a justification. But there are times when, as a man, I might say, I understand. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. It's never a justification. Cheating is always the person who's done it for. Because they could have easily left that's that's still my thing. Cheating is always the uh, the other person's fault. Yeah. But I at, at some point I can say I can understand. Um, she need better connection. I think she hit the button on accident. Yeah. They not cheaters, but they be lies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Someone asked me this okay. question, and I. One that I asked her before we got off because I'm gonna do another one of the bottom up questions that T to make sure T don't uh whistling. And I wanna ask Diani, do this happen to her often? Because Diani probably the one who this seemed like it applies to. Always fell back to community. Yeah, it always fall back to communication. You're right, Ang. Um, a young lady on the podcast wanted to ask a question, and she said that um <clears throat> why does it seem like men seems to hit on women when they look their worst. Going out to do laundry, going to make a quick run to Starbucks, going to like the lot, like a, uh, going to grocery store, just quick runs. Why does it feel as though that men hit on women when they're the bummiest? And they were wondering if, if this happened to other women or if it was just her. T, I'm going to start with you. Do you feel like you hit on women when they at their worst? And if you do, why is that? Um, do I hit on them? Oh, I mean, no, nah, I don't really be hitting on them when they're their worst. But, I mean, I don't mind when they look like that. You know, a T-shirt, some jeans, some regular stuff. Because I get to see you in your raw form. Mm. And if I like you like that, then I could just imagine how you're going to look when you get all dolled up and everything. And it's going to make me appreciate it more. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're beautiful like that, then I know you're going to be just ah, out of this world when you dress up. So, I think that's probably why. Okay. D, do you feel like men hit on seem to always seem to hit on you when you at your worst? Yes. But hey, D, <laughs> why he want to ask you that so bad? Do he think you be at your worst a lot or something? 
Cause he <laughs> couldn't wait. He's like, I've been. I know. I, I know. Cause he know I don't care. I she up. <laughs> but I, I believe that that's why, because they see you and they still see beauty. So they're like, damn, if she looked bad like this, she must look really good when she's dressed up. Yeah. 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 And, I think and you want to real. Me. Your real is you. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I, I think it is also, too, when you dress <laughs> down, you at your. your your most vulnerable state to where you don't got your nose up in there. I think we feel like at that particular time is when we really feel like we have a shot. Like there are some women that I know, like if I see her at the club and she all, everything on, she might not give it the time of day. She might be feeling herself. She might have looked at herself in the mirror, took that picture and was like, yeah, B, you done that. Now, if I catch her on the run to Starbucks early in the morning when she had the time to throw her bonnet on and What's the name? Run out of the house. She might not be feeling herself that much, and she might be willing to give you a little more conversation than in other ways. Other days, she probably wouldn't. Like, hey, man, this guy been a lot mm -hmm. long. You been here for a minute? Like, yeah. And like, she might be a little more engaging than when she's all dolled up with her friends. Like, I, mm -hmm. I mean, but but like T said, when you all when you're when you're down like that and you're still beautiful. You ain't these little scrubs and some of that, and you still I beautiful. Think it is. Some people don't be beautiful at all. I think hey. they just feel like it's an easy catch, too. Some. That plays a part. No, I ain't, no, I ain't, I, I ain't fishing for the goldfish. You're I'm not trying to catch a great fight. I ain't even no goldfish. All right? No, but I feel like she do make a good point. I think people feel like they, because once, uh, now we didn't say, we say it all the time, T, makeup is the devil. Mm. And makeup is catfishing one on one, also. And so there are some women, yeah, yeah. So there are some women when they put it on, they look like totally two different people from what's name. So you might feel like, oh, yeah, what's up, Sean? You're like, you're regular. Like, it looks more regular at that particular point. When she all dolled up, she might look like, you know, like a Gucci bag. And it's like, ah, I ain't trying. So it all depends. It might make it a little easier. Yeah. T, when they say them comments, because they seem to be going out. Because I'm going to read T question. They just say, uh, damn, stop. Yeah, go all the way back up. <laughs> uh, they said, you tried it on me. Yeah, they did. And then Fat said, men hit on anything with ass and tits. They agree with Fats. Um... Fast also said, men don't care if you at your worst or best as long as she dropped the neck off. Sometimes that could be true, Fast. I'm not going to lie. I had those moments before. You know, I didn't really care how you look, you know. As long, long as the job gets done, job has to get done. <laughs> they basically just agree on facts. What's up? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, he said he's trying to be a guest speaker next show. Who? What's up, Woods? Uh, Fast. <laughs> Uh, Tokyo said, no lies told. I be watching unbelievable transformations. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Okay. Okay. Hey, so here's, here's... If you date a girl and when you met her, she had her lashes on and stuff, and she <laughs> always had her lashes on, and then she finally took them off one day around I you, would lashes. you tell her, would you tell her, like, like, and she didn't look right? At all when she took them off. Will you tell her? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I hate that. Hold up. So, so y'all know what it is. Again, we've been playing the date one on one card game, Bottoms Up. This is one of the funnest games we've created out of the all four decks. If y'all haven't went to the date one on one card game page to get y'all deck, y'all missing out. This is the fun deck. It's, it's about taking shots. T had to take two already. Man, Deion and kind of like sitting here sober. No, I'm so, not. I'm going to read. I'm about to say, y'all better leave. Y'all have been drinking my drink anyway. I've been the whole time. Been, hey, I'm I'm that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. T, this is your question. Think about it and tell us when you're ready for us to answer. The first date was going well. Until the person did something that turned you completely off. They passed gas at the table, chewed with their mouth open, or they were talking too much. Mm. 
I got to get my answer in my head, right? Yeah. All right. I think if a chick passed gas at the table, you wouldn't, you'll be done. Diani? What, what were the options? The, the options was they passed gas at the table, they were chewing with their mouth open, or they were talking too much. <laughs> All of the above, D. Sorry, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna look like which one would be the worst? Passing gas at the table, um, chewing with their mouth open, or talking too much. I'm gonna say talking too much. Both of y'all got to, huh? It's chewing with your mouth open. Both of y'all got to, yeah, drink. because <laughs> when a girl passes gas, she's gonna be embarrassed. I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna be like, God damn! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> get Talking too much, it's a date. She go ahead and talk. I don't care. I don't like to talk that much anyway. But chewing with your mouth open, I hate that shit. Well, like, I've been drinking really? all the time, but I'm gonna take another shot. Mouth. Then, especially if she's smacking. Nah. Why choose this to drink? I don't know, but I've been drinking. Drink. Drink. Go ahead, drink. drink. Don't be no smoking now. Woo. Yeah, he lying, Sally. Yeah, he lying. I ain't lying. She she talking too much on a date, talk. she could talk. I could deal no, with that. Listen, okay, like, let me put it like this. Like, let me put it like this, y'all. Let me put it like this. Red, Red, you know me, Reds. I do. It's a job that has to be done. Do you think I'm going to let talking too much stop me from fucking? Oh, my God. <laughs> do you think that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know that from that. Don't matter. I'm not think, passing gas with a turn to completely off. I don't think her mouth open is going to stop you from fucking. Let but I'm going to say something about it, though. I have more of a problem with that, though. Because the day could go left you have the most off problem with. with. The day could go left off of that. Because I'm going to say something like, yeah, close your mouth. Why you chewing your mouth open like that? She might get an attitude. Then the date go left. <laughs> she fought, she they talk too much. If she fought, she gonna be embarrassed. She gonna be like, "Excuse me, I'm so sorry." I'm gonna be like, "That's all right. Don't nah, even." Nah, they fart. That's kind of. Because I'm still trying to me. No, I think with me, I hate when somebody just talking too much and never get a word in. Because y'all know me and y'all know I like talking. So if you talking too goddamn much, we both can't be talking too goddamn much. We, I can't never get a word in. Shut up. Let me talk too. So again, y'all know what it is. It's a homeboy's conversation. This is Dating 101 Card Game with a bottles up with 101 questions as well as theirs for you to have at a good game night. Go to the Dating 101 page. You can get your after dark card deck. You can get your 101 questions you can ask yourself. And of course, the deck that started it all off. You can get them all for a hundred dollars. The day one on one card game. Man, it's been a great night. Hold on, Ray. Thanks, Diani, for getting on with us. Go ahead. Yes. If I'm ever at your house on game night and we playing that card game and it's a question like that, just know it's not much that stands in the way of Tioma and some coochie. So oh, you pick wisely yeah. when you pick the answers. All right. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. About that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That's all you're going to say? So go over to Date 101 Card Game and get y'all deck. You know, uh, this deck is $30 if you if I got to bring it to you. It's 35 if you order off the page because delivery calls. So just go over there and get y'all deck. Man, thanks for everybody for joining in. Angie, Big Tokyo, Dex, all of y'all. Man, we'll see y'all next week. D, thanks. You're welcome. 9 o'clock on Monday, Dex.